Alrighty, guys, I'm now 4-0. My last four board member tier package bets on my website. And if you want to see a video breakdown of every one of my personal bets here today, the only way you can do that is to watch my board member podcast. And the only way to access my board member podcast is to join my full access, all-inclusive board member package on my website. And before we get into a little bit more of that, just want to take a quick time out and welcome you to my NBA free pick video here today for Wednesday, March 1st, 2023. Happy hump day to you. The weekend's right around the corner. Of course, my name is Brock Page, and I've been giving out free sports picks right here on YouTube since 2016. I also sell my personal sports bets on patreon.com slash Brock Page. Once again, guys, if you want to see a full video breakdown of every one of my personal bets here today, you can do that right now by becoming a board member on my website. Folks who are signed up to my all-inclusive board member package, they get access to my board member podcast every single day until April 1st. You also get access to every single person to play, every single package, every single day till April 1st as well. The math works out to be just about $1.66 a day, cheaper than your daily cup of coffee. Now, you may be wondering what the difference is between what I do here on YouTube and what I do on my website. Well, what I do here on YouTube is I'll handicap the entire slate of games in any given sport, side and total. What I do on Patreon.com slash Brock Page is I actually share with you which one of these free plays on these videos that I'm actually betting on personally. And with that, guys, let's go ahead and dive into some free content. We're going to take a look at the Suns at the Hornets, 7 o'clock Eastern tip-off. Phoenix is minus 10, totals 228. Now, the Suns got the W in six out of their last nine. And they failed to cover only three times during that span. When it comes to defensive play, the Suns are one of the best in the game on that end of the court as well. Phoenix is currently in the top five in defensive points per contest. DeAndre Ayton, he has a bunch of blocks on this season. He also averages nearly eight defensive boards a game. Now Ayton's currently making 59% of his attempts from the field as well. Meanwhile, Devin Booker is the team's leading scorer with 26.5 points a night. They're facing a Charlotte team who allows 119 points a game defensively. And when it comes to rebounding the basketball, the Hornets are grabbing fewer defensive boards per contest than any other team in the league except for one. Now, injury-wise, Cody Martin's out. P.J. Washington's doubtful. Meanwhile, for Phoenix on the other side, Kevin Durant and Landry Shamit are both still inactive. Now, total-wise, five out of Phoenix's last six on the road did stay under the number. Meanwhile, Charlotte went 80% to the under in their last 10. Give me Phoenix minus 10, under 228. Next game, Bulls-Pistons, 7 o'clock Eastern start time. Chicago's minus five, total's 224. Now, the Bulls got the W in two out of their last three, and they've been extremely dominant over Detroit in recent meetings. Chicago covered in nine out of their last 10 ball games against the Pistons, and they actually got the outright W in all 10 of those matchups. When it comes to defensive play, Chicago held Detroit to just 97 points a game in those very meetings I just mentioned. Nikola Vucevic, he has a bunch of blocks on the season. He also averages nearly double-digit defensive boards. Now, Vucevic is also making 51% of his attempts from the field. And speaking of offensive production, DeMar DeRozan's averaging a team-high 25 points a game. Now, they're facing a Detroit squad who lost eight out of their last nine themselves, and they currently have the worst record in the Eastern Conference. When it comes to defensive play, the Pistons allow more points a game at home than any other club in the league except for one. Now, injury-wise, Bogdanovich livers and Ivy are questionable. Duren and Stewart are out. When it comes to the total, four out of Detroit's last five at the Little Caesars. Uh, four out of Detroit's last five at the Little Caesars Arena stayed under the number. There we go. Got that out good. Meanwhile, Chicago went nine and one to the under in their last ten. Give me Chicago minus five under two twenty four. Next game, Nets Knicks, seven thirty p.m. East. New York's minus seven totals two twenty two. The Red Hot Knicks won their last six straight, and they covered the point spread in eight out of their last nine. The, the Knicks have been incredibly tough to shoot against. They're in the top three in guarding the three-pointer, and they have one of the lowest defensive field goal percentages in the NBA. Julius Randle grabs eight defensive boards per contest. 
And he also leads the team in scoring. <coughs> Meanwhile, Jalen Brunson, he averages 23 points a game, and he also drills 40% of his three-pointers. Now, they're facing a Nets team who lost seven out of their last nine themselves, and they grab fewer offensive boards than any other team in the NBA except for one. And no real surprise here, guys, Brooklyn's one of the worst defensive rebounding teams in the Eastern Conference as well. Now, injury-wise, Bum Simmons is still out. Sumner and Watanabe are questionable. When it comes to the total, four out of Brooklyn's last seven did stay under the number. Meanwhile, New York saw unders recently against the likes of Boston, Washington, and Atlanta. Give me the Knicks minus seven, under 222. Next matchup, it is going to be Cavs, Celtics, 7.30 p.m. East. Boston's minus five and a half, totals 219 and a hook. Now, the Celtics are mostly healthy again, and they did get the W in seven out of their last nine. And aside from being tied for the most wins in the NBA, the Celtics are also in the top three in the NBA in home scoring. Jason Tatum's currently averaging a team-high 30 points a game, along with eight rebounds. Meanwhile, teammate Malcolm Brogdon, he's drilling nearly 47% of his three-pointers off the bench. They're taking on a Cleveland squad on the other side who plays their worst basketball on the road. The Cavs are just 13 and 18 away from home this year. And they actually find themselves in the bottom five in the NBA in road scoring. And as good as Cleveland is defensively, uh, and as good as they are grabbing defensive boards, well, the Cavs are currently grabbing fewer offensive boards per game than most clubs in the Eastern Conference right now. Now, total-wise, Cleveland's been held to just 107 points a game in their last 10 meetings with Boston. So if you're into historical trends, certainly want to think about that one there. Meanwhile, the Celtics saw unders against the likes of New York, Philadelphia, and Phoenix. Give me the Celtics, minus five and a half, under 219 and a hook. Next game, Sixers Heat, 7.30 p.m. East. Philadelphia is the one and a half point favorite on the road. Totals 215 and a half. And as good as Miami's been defensively, the Sixers are actually doing their fair share on the defensive end of the court as well. They're in the top three in defensive points per game. And they're allowing fewer three-pointers a game than most clubs in the entire league. Joel Embiid's got a bunch of blocks on the season. He also averages eight defensive boards per contest. Now, Joe also leads the team in points with 33 a game. Of course, teammate James Harden, he's averaging over 21 and a half points a night. He also does a, a pretty nice job shooting from long range. Now, they're facing a Miami team on the other side who lost four out of their last five. And they might be the worst offensive team in the game. Now, uh, not only are these guys second to last in the NBA right now in shooting from the field, Miami's actually averaging fewer points a game than any other team in the NBA right now. They are dead last in offensive points per contest. Uh, Miami's scoring a league low 108 points a night. When it comes to the injury list, Kyle Lowry's out. Kevin Love and Matt Struess are questionable. When it comes to the total, Miami saw four out of their last seven stay under the number. Meanwhile, Philly went four and three to the under in their last seven themselves. Give me the Sixers minus one and a half. Under 215 and a hook. Next game, Lakers, Thunder, 8 o'clock East. The Lakers are minus one on the road. Totals 229 and a half. And even though the Lakers are going to work without LeBron James, they've still played some pretty tough uh, defense against OKC in recent meetings. They held Oklahoma City to just 109 points a game in their last 10 head-to-head -head matchups. So once again, if you're into historical trends, certainly want to think about that one there. Now, the Lakers are also one of the better offensive rebounding teams in the game. LA is currently in the top five in the NBA in offensive boards per contest. Anthony Davis snags nearly 13 rebounds a game. He's also leading the active roster here today in points. You know, Lonnie Walker scoring 13 points a game himself, and he does a nice job shooting from long distance. Now, the Lakers are facing a Thunder team on the other side who may have to go to work once again without Shea Gilgis-Alexander, the leading scorer. Uh, he's still banged up, sat out last game. Uh, he's officially listed as questionable here today. And in Oklahoma City's last six games, they got the W only one time. They're actually the worst defensive rebounding team in the NBA right now. 
And when it comes to scoring, six out of LA's last 10 meetings with OKC did get over the total. So once again, if you're into historical trends, plenty of overs to go around. OKC is also 19 and 12 to the over in the Paycom Center. Give me the Lakers minus one over 229 and a half. Next matchup, Grizzlies, Rockets, 8 o'clock East. Memphis is minus 10, totals 230. Now the Grizzlies got the W in five out of their last seven. And they're doing a nice job underneath the basket. Memphis is grabbing more offensive boards a game than any other team in the league except for one. When it comes to defensive play, the Grizzlies have the lowest defensive field goal percentage in the entire NBA. John Moran has a bunch of steals on the year. And he's averaging just about five defensive boards per contest. Now, of course, Jaws is the team's leading scorer right now with 27 points a game. Meanwhile, Desmond Baines knocking down 41% of his shots from beyond the arc. Now, they're taking on a Houston team who I said the other day, this is like an all-time historically bad team. Uh, this is a Houston squad who lost their last 10 straight. And obviously, they have the worst record in the NBA. Now, no real shock here. The Rockets are the worst shooting team uh, in the association. When it comes to the injury report, Kevin Porter and Jay Sean Tate are questionable for the Rockets. Meanwhile, for Memphis on the other side, Jake LaRavia is questionable. Now, total-wise, the Grizzlies, they've averaged over 120 points a game in their last 10 meetings with Houston. Meanwhile, the Rockets saw their last four straight in the Toyota Center get over the total. Give me Memphis minus 10. Over 230. Next matchup. It is going to be Magic at the Bucks, 8 o'clock Eastern tip off. Then Milwaukee's minus seven, totals 224 and a half. And this does feel like a, uh, a really generous number for the Red Hot Bucks. I know they're laying a couple baskets here, but um, Milwaukee won their last 15 straight. They're currently tied for the most wins in the NBA. And I'll tell you what, during their 15 game win streak, they covered over 73% of those contests. So not only are they winning outright, but they're covering the number as well. When it comes to rebounding the basketball, the Bucs are leading the NBA in offensive boards per game. Giannis Antetokounmpo, he's grabbing over a dozen rebounds a night. He also leads the team in scoring. Meanwhile, Drew Holiday is scoring nearly 20 points a game himself. And he shoots it really well from long range. You know, they're facing a Magic team who's just 11-20 and 20 on the road this year. When it comes to offensive production, these guys score fewer points a game on the road than any other team in the league except for one. Orlando's getting just 108 points a game in their travels. Now, injury-wise, Jonathan Isaac is questionable for Orlando. Meanwhile, for the Bucs, Wesley Matthews is questionable for them. And when it comes to the numbers, seven out of Milwaukee's last 10 did stay under the total. Meanwhile, Orlando went 80% to the under in their last 10 themselves. Give me the Bucs minus seven under 224 and a half. And with that, guys, we're going to jump into our next and final breakdown for the video. It is going to be Pelicans at the Blazers, 10 o'clock Eastern tip-off. Portland's minus two, totals 232. Now, the Blazers do have a winning record at home. They're having little issue scoring points at the Moda Center. They're in the top five in the league in home scoring. They're also making more three balls at home than most clubs in the West. Jeremy Grant's drilling 40% of his long balls. He also averages 20 points a game. Meanwhile, Dame Lillard, he's scoring a team-best 32 points per contest. Now, they're facing a banged-up Pels team who lost their last four straight. And they certainly have a tough time getting the W on the road. Out of 31 contests away from the Big Easy, the Pels got the W only 10 times. They're also one of the worst three-point shooting teams on the road in the Western Conference. When it comes to the injury list, Valachunas and Richardson are questionable. Nance and Zion Williamson, they are still out. Uh, and when it comes to the total in this one, the Pelicans are 19-12 and 12 to the over in their road trips. Meanwhile, Portland's gone 7-3 and three to the over in their last 10 themselves. Give me Portland minus 2 over 232. And with that, guys, now it's time for our quick pick recap. Give me the Phoenix Suns, minus 10, under 228. Chicago Bulls, minus 5, under 224. New York Knicks, minus 7, under 222. I'm 4-0 my last four board member tier package bets on my website at patreon.com slash brockpage. 
Board members get access to every single one of my personal bets, every single package, every single day until April 1st. You also get access to my all-exclusive board member podcast as a board member as well. Give me the Boston Celtics, minus five and a half, under 219 and a hook. Philadelphia, minus one and a half, under 215 and a half. LA Lakers, minus one, over 229 and a hook. Memphis Grizzlies, minus 10, over 230. Milwaukee Bucks, minus seven, under 224 and a half. With my next and final free pick, give me Portland, minus two, over 232.